Hey, we have here today another integral on the board. This one's from the MIT Integration B semifinals round two, problem two. We have the integral of dx over x squared plus one, all cubed. And when I was doing this, the first thing I noticed, I did something really similar in a video not long ago. I think there was just a four here instead of a one. And I'll provide a link to that video, but for that one, I did a trig substitution and that worked out fine. But in the comments, I noticed some suggestions to use a recursion method to like reduce the power here with a formula. But particularly in the comments from Basem Feneri, he outlined like the full method of how to create a recursion formula for this. But what I wanted to do here was use his method to reduce the power using integration by parts and to develop a formula for this. So I want to create like kind of a general formula for this. And then we'll write this integral as, instead of using one here, we'll write it as just x squared plus a because it can be any value and it's basically the same problem. And instead of cubed, we'll use this power n so what I can do in the numerator is kind of create something because I want cancellation to reduce the power here. So I'm going to just kind of create a x squared plus a in the numerator. But then what I can do is just subtract off the x squared and we'll keep the same denominator. Now here, even with subtracting off the x squared, we still changed it because we had a one here and now we have an a, but I can just divide off that a out front. And so now notice if you multiply this into the numerator, we just have one. And so we haven't changed it. Then from here, what I'm gonna do is split this into two integrals. So the first one's gonna be just x squared plus a over the same denominator. And for the second one, we'll still have our one over a in front. I'll write this as minus x squared over x squared plus a to the n dx. And then the nice thing here is you notice this is gonna just cancel off one of these. So this is gonna be now n minus one. And the nice thing about that is you notice now this integral is in the same form as our like i sub n this thing here is actually just i sub n minus one. And now for this second integral, we can actually deal with this using integration by parts. And I'll just do this real quick using the di method. So we'll set up our table for tabular integration. To split this up, I'm gonna separate out a minus x. To differentiate, we'll differentiate a minus x and we'll just integrate over here, x over x squared plus a. Now differentiating this, we're just gonna get a minus one here. Integrating this over here, let's just take this to the side. So let's look at this. So we're gonna be integrating x over x squared plus a to the power n. I can do this with a quick u substitution. I can just create a two on this x and write a one half in front. And so if I make this piece my u, you'll notice that the denominator is just du. So what's gonna happen is we're integrating actually u to the minus n. Well, that's gonna be one half u to the minus n plus one over minus n plus one. Well, our u is just this x squared plus a, so let me just see if I can squeeze this in here. So we're gonna have x squared plus a, this power is gonna be one minus n, and then out front we're gonna have a two, one minus n. Okay, now from here we're gonna have part of our solution right here on the diagonals. I'm just gonna rewrite this complicated thing over here. But we have a minus times minus, so that's gonna be a plus, and I'll bring the x in the numerator, so we're gonna have x over two a, n minus one, this minus sign here came as I reversed the one minus n to n minus one. X squared plus a to the n minus one. And then I'm gonna just bring down this thing here. So we're gonna have one over a, and I'm just gonna write this as i to the n minus one. And then this row here is just gonna be part of our, this was gonna be an integral. And notice right here, we have this x squared plus a n minus one. Well, this is our n, this is the same thing as i n minus one, which is the coefficient here. So what I can do is combine this with this i n minus one, all in one term, which is this coefficient. The minus and minus here is gonna cancel out a plus, but we have a minus out front, so we're gonna have minus, and then we're gonna have just two a times n minus one. Everything else here is just part of the i sub n minus one. And so what I can do with the one over a is just multiply this by a two n minus one in the numerator and denominator. So when I do that, we'll have the same denominator as this other term. And so just putting these together, distributing this in here, we're gonna have two n minus two minus one. So this is gonna be a minus three all over two a times n minus one. And then now we have this recursive formula for our integral. And notice this is not necessarily a solution, right? Because this is only gonna reduce it. So it's gonna get us a solution in terms of another integral. So like in this case where we have a third degree, it's just gonna reduce it to second degree. So now all that's left to do really is just use this formula we're looking here at, this is gonna be i sub three. And also notice again that our a value is gonna be one. So we're just using a equals one. So just plugging into this formula, okay, we have our x here. 
with the one right there, we're gonna have two, n is gonna be three, so three minus one is gonna be two, then we're gonna have x squared plus one, and minus one again is gonna be squared. Then here, plugging a two in here, two times four minus three, we'll have one in the numerator, two a is gonna be just two, three minus one, and this is gonna be another two, and here we're gonna have the expression as i sub two. And now we just need to repeat this to find an expression for i sub two. So for i sub two, again, we're gonna use this formula, we're gonna have x, two times a is gonna be two, two times one, this is just gonna be a one here, x squared plus one, and then plugging a two in here, we're just gonna have a one on the exponent, so I could have left that off. Then plugging a two in here, we're gonna have four minus three is one, then two a is gonna be two, and then plugging a two in, this is just gonna be a one. I just noticed I made a mistake here with this one, because if you plug a three in here, three times two is six minus three, this should be a three in the numerator over here, sorry about that. And then finally for our i, this is gonna be two minus one, or i sub one. Now i sub one, that's just gonna be this integral when the coefficient's one, so that's just gonna be x squared plus one. When we know what that is, that's just arctan of x. So what I'm gonna do is just replace this value with arctan of x, and we'll continue with that. And now all we need to do to finish this off, we just need to take this i2 value and plug it back into our equation for i3, because this is what we're looking for, this is our goal. So if I plug this back in, we should have our solution. So we're gonna have x over four, x squared plus one squared. Then I'm gonna take my three quarters and distribute it into these terms. So this one's gonna be three x over eight, x squared plus one. And multiplying three quarters times this one's gonna give us three over eight, arctan of x. Okay, and just a little cleanup that we can do is I wanna get a common denominator here. So I'm gonna make my common denominator eight x squared plus one squared. So what I need to do is multiply top and bottom here by two over two. And over here, I'm gonna multiply by x squared plus one. So now let's just distribute and kind of combine these together. So this everything's gonna be over eight x squared plus one squared. Distributing in the three x here, we're gonna have a three x cubed for the first term. Then distributing three x to the one, we're gonna have three x, but we have a two x here, so this is gonna give us a 5x. Then we're gonna have this last term, which is gonna be three over eight arctan of x. Just put a plus c on the end, and that's it, we're done. Okay, so you can see it was still quite a bit of work deriving this. During the semifinals, they only allow three minutes for you to do the problem. And it just seems like it'd be really hard to do that without like memorizing this formula. If you memorize this, you could do it. But to derive it, or to just do the integration by parts method, or to do what I did in the first video, I think all of those are probably too long. So I don't know, let me know what you think. Anyway, I still thought it was interesting to derive this recursion formula. So we'll stop it there. Thanks everyone for watching today. Have a great day.